The Tobago Drama Guild presents Blue Devils, Tobago Carnival Blues happening on Carnival Tuesday and you get the opportunity to be a part of it absolutely free. Here to tell us a little bit more about it this morning is the director and co-founder of the Tobago Drama Guild, Tabiti, joins us online. Good morning to you, Tabiti. Good morning to you, TTT, Trinidad and Tobago. Everybody, good morning. Happy Carnival. Happy Carnival to you as well. I see you in, in a good, in good spirits this morning. I have been, I've been in, I've been in warrior spirit. So we want to talk about Tobago Carnival Blues, the the band. Mm -hmm. However, uh, well, let me explain a bit about the, the, the choice of name. It is Blue Devils, that is traditional mass, plain old mass. Right. Uh, old mass like. We used to have it in the fence, beginning with the arena tennis court and, and all that, mm -hmm. right? So we have Blue Devils playing old mass, depicting the blues that we are having in Tobago over this year's carnival. Well, this is very interesting because this morning we started that conversation as well. Tell me a little bit from your perspective about the blues that you're having for carnival in Tobago. Well, I suppose that you have, you have heard what the blues are. The prize money is drastically reduced. Mm -hmm. Bands must be registered companies before getting the, the grants that have been offered to assist in making the mass. Uh, there was uncertainty about Carnival up to December last year. Up to December last year, we didn't know if we would have Carnival or a national festival on Carnival Monday and Tuesday as we used to have it. Right. Finally, about three weeks ago, there were some final plans came into place that was rejected by the mass players because uh, they, they cut this, they cut that, they cut, and, and, and what is left is not pleasant, is not pleasing to the mass players. Mm -hmm. There's a protest planned for tomorrow because we cannot do the mass. We cannot play the match with what is being offered as an incentive to play. So I have Did a I question. I have yes, a question. I have a question about that, Tabiti. Uh, is it the is it the House of Assembly's responsibility to pay for the mass that happens? Not pay. Over over the years and for some time now, incentives, grants have been given to bands to produce the mass. Small a small band, for example, was given five thousand uh, dollars. A medium band, something like like uh, ten, and a large band, fifteen thousand. So that to get these grants and uh, and now it is kind of uh, people who are playing mass will have had their costumes ready and, and most of it ready by now. So these grants are still not coming because people learned yesterday evening that they must be a registered company to receive the grants. Right. Ridiculous, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Understood. So, and uh, I also understand that there were there was some cutting of the the parade as well, as well as the juve. Oh, there'll be no juve. There'll be no. There'll be no juve, no old mass, no night mass. And I think that what is happening is that the disunity among the bands uh, has been used by the, the planners of the carnival to their advantage. All uh, right, so and they are the focused. The focus is to have one carnival. The focus has shifted to the Tobago Fete in October. That is not carnival. Interesting. So you're saying yeah. you're suggesting yeah. that you're suggesting that the 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 uh, House of Assembly is now more focused on the October Carnival than they are on the National Carnival. Yes, but the October Carnival is not Carnival as we know it, as we have been taught in or every every Catholic know how we look forward to the Lenten season that is hooked up to show Tuesday. That connection cannot happen in October. So mm. that they use Carnival as a draw and the Tobago bands have been left out of it completely. 
So the drama girl, so, the drama girl has now taken it upon themselves to do a presentation on Carnival Tuesday for the people. Yeah. Absolutely. If today's meeting again with the, with the assembly, with the organizers, would would uh, commit to the changes we, the mass players, are asking for. Otherwise, we don't know how it will go. But unless we get those changes, unless we are allowed to bring the mass, the assembly cannot bring mass. The assembly have brought a set of people who never play mass to run a carnival. In October, they brought ready-made bands from Trinidad, and, and the bands and the Tobago bands benefited nothing from it. My hope was that when we link up the, the Trinidad bands, we will have wire benders and, and, and the people who are who know more about mass than Tobago would would come and assist in developing the Tobago Carnival for February. That didn't happen. We had a, a, a lot of a misspent funds. Somebody drop a whole set of concrete in the sea, flatten it out, and call it a stage. If you have a stage, where's the audience sitting? The road is full of, of bands and everything else. So that a lot of money has been wasted, in my opinion, and this is not the opinion of the guild, but it's just my opinion, a lot right. of funds have been right. wasted and gone unaccounted for. What was the bottom line of the thing? How did Tobago benefit? The same way that vendors made money and this one made money, but, but overall, did the assembly make any money for such a huge investment? The answer well, is no. All right, let me let me let me bring it back to your presentation for Carnival Tuesday. Um, the Bago Carnival Blues, we understand now where, where it's coming from and what what uh, what sparked this idea. So tell me a little bit about what you expect people to do on Carnival Tuesday. People in my band? Yeah. Ah, right. So we are going to we we are going to be dressed in the traditional blue devil's outfits. And each person will depict a character. We are a small band, and we are going to find the characters in the assembly and around who have been fighting against Tobago having a carnival 2024. All right, so, so they we'll come find on down. Characters and portray them old mass style. Right, so they come on down to by Royal Castle at Wilson Road and Carnival Tuesday. They just walk up and they take part. No, we have the car park at Royal Castle. We have had it. We have had that for years as our meeting place. Right. So they come to the back and we are there with paint and forks and tails and and devil things. And we are going to meet before that and organize characters. Okay. So do you have to register to be a part of this band or you just come on the day and show up? It would be good to have registration. There are no fees involved, but because we have to assign characters, it would be good for people to to come to the guild house and uh, so we could assign them characters. Fantastic. Well, Tabiti, I want to thank you so much for joining us today, and I want to wish you all the best on Carnival Tuesday and with your meeting that you have later on today. We'll pay attention to what comes out of it as well. Wonderful. I want to use this opportunity to, to say that uh, the Bacchanal Calypso tent will be in Charlottesville this Sunday from about 4 p.m. Nice. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Take you, care. Thank Enjoy you. your day. Uh, that's Tabiti there. He is the director and co-founder of the Tobago Drama Guild.